I hate shopping for clothes online. I'm never sure if the clothes will fit or if they will even suit me. But the pandemic has made it increasingly difficult for all of us to shop in person. In lockdown, stores lost vital revenue. And since opening up, footfall has not recovered, leaving many clothing stores across Europe forced to close their doors permanently. But some companies are turning to a once niche idea, virtual shopping. So I decided to give it a try. Style Me provides an online feature that allows customers to create avatars to virtually try on clothes for them. All you have to do is type in your height, weight, and body proportions. And then voila, you can try on clothes without changing out of your pajamas. Does this dress look good on me? What about these jeans? What about this jacket? With the lockdown, uh, everything went into uh, kind of a, a crisis mode for a few weeks. And obviously retailers were, were thinking through how they were surviving and how they were doing that. Then what happened is within that two or three weeks time, we started to see a real surge in demand, especially from mid and smaller sized uh, independent retailers uh, who are really realizing this was really the only game in town, e-commerce, uh, and they had to find solutions to help them to, to boost uh, that business, but also to help them to make it far more efficient. StyleMe isn't the only company that is trying to do this. Zkit is about to launch what it calls the largest online virtual fitting room in the world. And Amazon is working on something similar. But can I visit a store without having to physically go there? Brand Lab Fashion in Cardiff is working on it. They are launching an online replica of actual high street stores. These type of um, solutions that we provide can go across any vertical where a product needs to be sold and it's better to be sold face to face. And the problem with digital e-commerce is you're not being sold to, you're just going in on your own. Um, and, I, and I think these type of virtual environments are kind of uh, the lovely halfway house between real life and e-commerce, but for the more immersive experience. In the virtual store, you can browse, chat with employees, and even shop with friends. Stores can set their virtual counterpart anywhere, even in space. When I'm shopping online, I'm, um, I'm always doing it while I'm doing something else. It's always in the background or I'm doing it on my phone. It is more immersive and it's more enjoyable. So it will be something that people are more focused on than just, you know, leaving those kind of um, those items in the cart for weeks and weeks until they get back to that order. Online retail shopping was threatening the high street even before the pandemic. So are we witnessing the end of brick and mortar shops or are these just an update to an already existing product? I think there's always a role for retail. Some people still want to touch, feel, uh, see that clothing. So I see that it's gonna benefit, it's gonna complement, uh, but retail will still be there. Soon, virtual shopping will be the choice that we can make every day. But isn't the shopping experience also about social connection? Well, in the future, we will see if people wanna shop for their clothes in here or out here.